G'day cunts, episode 4, uh, everyone's been really cool about sending me in good stuff, send me some shit, everyone's sending me really good stuff, but I want some stuff I can be really mean about too, so don't just send me the good stuff, but thanks for that, send me some shit as well, as usual, honest reviews, I call it how I see it, if it's fucked, I'll tell you it's fucked, if it's good, I'll tell you it's good, the links to the songs will be in the, the, the description of the video, um, so if you want to hear them, that's where they are. Uh, again, no money changing hands, these are honest reviews. Off we go. First up is Dogshot. Dogshot are a shardcore band, that's what they call themselves, from uh, south coast New South Wales. Um, Self-titled EP, or I guess album, it's hard to say with these because they're so fucking short. Uh, most of the songs are under a minute. Um, really good power violence with a tad of uh, thrash in there, uh, a lot of hardcore influences, really, um, if you like your spazzes, your Asuk, your MK Ultra, Charles fucking Bronson, uh, you'll like this, really tough, they do a fucking amazing cover of Agnostic Front's Traitor, um, another short song, they really um, remind me of spaz in the way they use samples. Beginning and the end of some of the songs, there's some pretty funny samples, mostly of crackheads. They keep that kind of dead shit crackhead theme, as you can kind of hear there. Um, but yeah, this is a fucking really good album. Short, sharp, shiny. Um, really enjoy it. If you're a hardcore fan, if you're a power violence fan, uh, if you're a kind of a thrash punk fan, there's something in this for you. Uh, Dog shot self-titled. I'm going to give this one four angry crackheads out of five. Uh, it's out there on the Inner City Uprising on their band camp. Check it out. Next up is Numskull um, out of Sydney. Again self-titled. No imagination. Um, this is power violence at its best. This is super short songs. A bit different to the band before, uh, Dogshot, in that some of these are a little bit slower and got more of a groove like Spaz did. Um, so yeah, a little bit more variation. If I'm honest, I probably like this a little bit better than Dogshot, but I only say that because I really like both of them and I really, really like this. Six tracks, just over two minutes in length, so it's short, sharp and shiny. Um, this is the closest thing I've heard to Spaz come out of Australia. Uh, I love power violence music, particularly spaz style, uh, and this this is just, it's not ripping spaz off, but it's very spaz-like. Um, great little album, or EP, Numbskull, self-titled, I'm going to give this one four sniffer dogs out of five, also on Inner City Uprising on their Bandcamp page, check it out, download that and the dog shot, two really good power violence albums. Um, compare and contrast, one's a little quicker than the other, both really, really good. Um, good vocals, good drums, good guitars on all, all both those albums, both worth checking out. If you like grindy, power, violence stuff, check out Numbskull, check out Dogshot, uh, Dog Shot. do it now, cunt. Next up is a band called Don't Bring Stacy, called, uh, out of Adelaide, or as it should be known from now on, Badelaide with a song called Changed My Hair, or as he sings it, Changed My Hair! Um, they describe themselves as a happy, sad, surf rock band. I don't hear two fifths of fuck all surf rock in this. If this is surf rock, then I've never fucking heard surf rock, and I have, this is not surf rock. Fuck off with that nonsense. Um, the music actually starts off all right. It's very inoffensive kind of, power pop, pop punk kind of stuff, um, the kind of stuff you could hear in a supermarket, his vocals kill it, he does this weird thing where he just kind of, I don't know what he does, it just sounds fucking ridiculous in the verses, really twangs it out, he makes some noise at one point like he's jizzing into his hand, I don't know what that's all about, um, this is a three minute long song, but it feels like an hour, um, Yeah, it just, it's not awful, um, it's very bland and inoffensive, um, 
there's no real soul to it. It's very, could be on a car commercial or something like that. Um, middle of the road, pedestrian, nice enough. It's not dreadful. I can't say it's completely shit. If you stop doing the whiny thing with his voice, it might actually be all right. Um, there's hope for this band. He just needs to stop whining when he's not doing the eh, eh, bits. It doesn't sound bad. Um, just a bit bland and certainly not surf pop. Here's his jizz noise. What's that? What's that? Like, no. Um, yeah. Three hipster haircut shit cunts out of five. Um, there may be a good band in there somewhere. This song isn't that song. Don't give up, keep trying, you might get there, just the vocals with the jizz noises, uh, not so much for me. And the name, Don't Bring Stacy. the fuck is that? It's awful. Uh, if you like pop punk and like really lame pop punk, you, you might like this. My, uh, my other half, she disagreed, she thought it was a bit catchy, but yeah, for me not into it don't bring stacy not so much next up is a band out of toowoomba um called sang freud now they're doing a very ambitious project they're releasing a song a day for a year um, and I've listened to a bunch of them. The song I'm going to review is called Animals Don't Have Souls, which is a fucking great little weird song. Very quirky, um, off-kilter vocals, strange guitar noises, really weird in that kind of... Um, when I was a young bloke, I used to get those alternative tentacles CDs out of the US that always have two or three really weird bands along with your run-of-the-mill punk bands. And that was always one of the best things about it. And this reminds me of that. Like, it's just kind of off-kilter and weird. Um, really hard to pigeonhole. Now, I've listened to probably a dozen of their songs that they've released so far. Hit and miss. The good ones are all really, really good. Some of the slower, more folkier ones, or more country kind of, or bluesy ones, didn't really do it for me. But the ones where they bring up the guitars and hammer it out are really fucking good. Um, I kind of wish that they would go back and revisit some of these and put more time into them and record them over a couple of days, do a proper album with the best songs on because some of this stuff is really, really fucking good. Even the low points for songs that aren't as good aren't terrible. Um, but yeah, Sang Freud of Toowoomba, a song a day the last person I knew that did that was Blackie from the Hard Ons who did a bunch of acoustic stuff and it was really good but this is a full band doing a song a day for a year so that's a pretty fucking amb uh, ambitious project. I give this four ambitious projects out of five. Sang Freud on Bandcamp, um, really worth getting into and don't just check out one or two songs, delve deep, um, particularly Animals Don't Have Souls which is this one. Um, there's another one called Shut Your Face, which I really like as well. But yeah, there's a whole bunch. There's, you know, looking at them here, there's heaps. Fruit and Veg, Shut Your Face. Uh, they were really good, but there's, there's not a bad one on this. So check them out. Sang Freud. Next up, we have The Rum Jacks. Yay! Uh, with a song called Saints Preserve Us, which was a single released, I think, about a year, year and a half ago. Um, yeah, the Rum Jacks. Yeah, this is um, Celtic punk, folk punk stuff. Um, interestingly enough, I have it on good authority that the woman beating piece of shit that sings in this band, or did sing in this band and has just been kicked out, didn't have an Irish accent originally. In previous bands and in day-to-day -day life, he talks with an Australian accent because he was brought up here. But as soon as he jumped into the Rum Jacks, all of a sudden it was, Fiddle -de -dee, where's me fucking potatoes? And how fucking lame is that? Like, Celtic punk is, to me, a little bit lame, unless you're the Pogues. 
Oh, I'm not a huge fan, but bunging on a fake accent, that's just shit. Don't do that. I mean, what? I guess I'm stupid for expecting any kind of integrity from a guy that, you know, beats women. You know? The song itself is almost like folk ska. Um, some of their stuff isn't quite like this. I've listened to a few of their songs. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan for a couple of reasons. One, because I don't like listening to music made by woman beaters. Um, and yes, if anyone wants to say anything, Frankie is a convicted beater of women. That's on the public record. I'm not going to say anything else he's been accused of because the uh, the rest of the band like to get a bit bitchy and threaten to sue people. Um, you guys aren't much better than him. But yeah, the Rum Jacks. Lame, cheesy, shitty, one wife-beating piece of shit out of five. Sue me. Fuck you. Last one for today, Pineapple Laser, featuring Sorley B. This is the worst piece of fucking shit I have ever heard in my fucking life. And the most concerning thing is, they actually had to have a feature artist come in. So it was bad enough that the band went, yeah, this is a good idea. They got some other cunt in to come and go in over the top of it. Um, it's called Tap Dat. Yeah, Dat, D-A-T, so the cunts can't spell. Um, one of them looks like fucking Wurzel Gummidge. The other one looks like fucking Cat Weasel. And if you don't know who they were, look them up, you young pricks. Um, this is dreadful, um, kind of, the thought, thought of shit that was horrible in the 90s, the late 90s, that rock rap nonsense. It's a song about sticking your dick in various things. Um, yeah, this is fucking dreadful. It's not clever, it's not funny, it's really uninspired fucking... I'm not sure who would like this. Someone must. Who are you and why? Because this is just fucking trousers. Uh, there's no redeeming features at all about this song. It's not catchy, it's not funny, it's not clever. It's shit, it's generic riffs, shit vocals. Just stupid. The worst part about this is I was curious to see what other diarrhea this band was responsible for, and I was quite surprised because Pineapple Laser, on their own, have a few snippets of live songs on YouTube, and they're actually quite decent. So what the fuck happened here? Is it Sorley B's fault? What kind of name is Sorley B? Who is Sorley B? Fuck off Sorley B. Pineapple Laser, do yourself a favour, fuck this cunt off, because he's fucking awful. And have a word with yourselves before you do anything else like this, because shit me, this is fucking awful. This is one abortion out of five, because that's what this is. This is an abortion. This is painful to the ears. This will give you fucking nightmares. I'm almost tempted not to put the link to this in the description, because I feel like I'm doing you a disservice by doing that, by making you listen, giving you the opportunity to listen. It's like I'm sending you fucking kitty porn or something. This is the musical equivalent of kitty porn. That's how much I hate this. It's fucking awful. Pineapple laser featuring Sorley B. No. Stop. Um, the sad part is the band themselves, uh, their other stuff doesn't sound that bad. There's a decent band there. This dreadful... Were you on fucking crack when you thought of this? Like, did you all sit around pulling each other's dick and pulling on the meth pipe and come up with this? It's just fucking dreadful. Don't listen to it. Don't even think about listening to it. Don't tell anyone about it. Just fucking awful. That's it. I feel sick just listening to this. It's shit. Go away.